What to do if your partner does not support you? What to do if they hold you back? They don't like that you want to start a business or be an entrepreneur or take a risk. What to do? Dump them! Let them go! Send them on their way! Pack their bags! Life is too short. <laughs> okay, I'm going to discuss very briefly in this video what to do if your partner is not supporting your mission. Now, I'm an entrepreneur and I have thousands of entrepreneurs that ask me this question. My partner is not supporting me. They're holding me back. They don't understand why I'm investing in my education, why they want the money to come in quicker. They're not behind me all the hours I'm putting in to build a life. And if you have ever experienced that or are thinking that, then uh, you need to watch this short video. Now, there's actually a bit of a process. So um, it might end up in you letting them go. Don't blame me. A lot of people say, oh, yeah, well, Rob said no. But here's the thing. It's actually not always on them. And it is sometimes on you. So the first thing you have to ask yourself is, um, do you understand your own purpose and mission and vision and values. Because if you've tried 832 things, you can't blame your partner for questioning your next attempt. If you're very clear on your mission and your purpose, and you've articulated that very clearly with your partner many times, then stay with me to the end of this video. I can see people are sharing this already. OK, so let's say you do understand your clear vision and values and mission and what you want to achieve. And you're not just a junkie of start, stop, start, stop, start, stop, start, stop. The next thing you need to ask yourself is, have you clearly and kindly articulated it to your partner? And by the way, I want to be an entrepreneur and I'm on a mission and you can fucking lump it is not the way to do it. I hear so many people say, well, this is what's important to me. And I don't want to be with anyone who doesn't want me to do what I want to do in my life. It's great. And if they don't support me in my mission, then they're not for me. And I, I hear a lot of people articulate it really badly in terms of what their mission and vision and value is. No one was born to be subservient and support you. So you wanting them just to purely support and not challenge you is actually a bit of your ego coming in. OK, so let's say you understand your purpose and your mission and your values and you continually and clearly articulate it. The next thing is, have you articulated it in their values? Have you articulated it kindly in a way that would they would understand? So, for example, my wife doesn't really like risk. She likes security. But I articulate and she understands that the risk I take actually helps her security. So me articulating the risks that I'm taking in a way that makes her life more secure and gives her more freedom, she is then more flexible to allow me to go and do my crazy mission. And I know that sometimes if there's tension, it's because I, I get into the mode of articulating it in terms of what I want and in not, not in terms of what she wants. OK, let's say you've done all of these things and you keep doing all of these things, then maybe you need to be a bit more bold and a bit more brave and maybe you need to cut them loose or maybe you need to try a little break or something like that. Because honestly, if you've done all that, life is too short. You want people who lift you up, people who support you on your journey. By the way, you also want people who challenge you on your journey. This is important because a lot of people think that every time someone says something negative, then they're being negative and everyone's a hater. But in reality, you need challenge as much as you need support. You need criticism as much as you need praise. It's just your ego that doesn't like it. So you've got to make sure you're getting your ego out of the way. So let me know what you think about this. Have you ever had a partner who's not supportive in your journey, your mission, your vision? Have you struggled with it? Have you felt like they've held you back? Have you followed my three or four step process of understanding your purpose, mission, vision and values? Articulating it really clearly to your partner many times over in a kind way. Understanding their values and purpose and mission 
and how it may be links with yours and how you can sell your vision to them based on their vision and their needs. And then if it repeatedly happens, have you been bold and brave and taken a break or cut them loose? Now, I've got more, a lot more detail on this, by the way. I actually just recorded a brand new episode for Disruptors. And it's of the same title of this video. What to do if your partner doesn't support you. It's a free episode. It won't cost you any money. Just write yes in the comments if you'd like a sort of, I think it's about 20 minutes long, a deep dive exploring into if your partner, if your family, if your friends are holding you back. How to check if they really are holding your back, your, you back. Or maybe it's a bit of you and your ego because you have to check yourself before you wreck yourself. So how to remove your own ego. How to get clear vision and mission. How to articulate it in a way that other people understand. And then how to sell it to someone. And then how to check if someone being critical is them just being critical and it's useful. Or they're actually going to be a full on neg and hold you back. So if you like full details on this, just write yes in the comments. It's actually a brand new podcast episode that went live on my podcast disruptors because I've had thousands of people that have asked me about partners that they feel that hold them back or family and friends and people around them that they feel holds them back. And by the way, you're not going to like some of the things I say because it's a bit of cold, hard truth because some people, it's actually not their partners. It's them. They have what I call toxic positivity. Toxic positivity is when you want absolutely everyone around you to be only positive. Oh, you looked at me in a negative way. You are fired. Was that a negative statement? Did you say no? You are dumped. And you have to be careful that you're not pushing people away, pushing people who are actually good for you, who balance you. So just write yes in the comments if you'd like access to this free episode. It's on the Disruptors podcast um, and I will share the link to you. John has said divorce them and move them on. John, in some instances, that could be right, especially if you felt depressed and held back and stifled for 20 years. But the thing is, you have to have done everything first, because in reality, when you let someone go, your new partner is just going to have a different set of upsides and downsides. So the question is, have you actually done everything that you can? So actually, I just sorry, I've got to say this, John, and maybe you're being a bit flippant here, but just divorce them and move on is too superficial advice and you need to have good context. So if you want a full sort of excavation and analysis of this concept of if your partner might be holding your back or you back or maybe it's you and you'd like to go go, go through the process of, of sense checking it just write yes in the comments and I was I will just share the link to my latest episode on my podcast disruptors it's completely free it will cost you nothing it's my podcast um, that I do two episodes a week we're nearly 850 episodes in it's one of the biggest podcasts in the country maybe in the world and definitely in this the, the sphere of entrepreneurship. So just write yes in the comments if you would like access to um, the full episode on what to do if your partner doesn't support you. What it should actually be called is what to do if you perceive your partner doesn't support you. <laughs> All right then, so let me know in the comments by saying yes. Have you experienced anyone in your life that you felt has held you back and doesn't support you? And has that really made things difficult for you? Has that caused friction and tension in your relationship? Did you free yourself from that relationship or are you still stuck in that relationship? Let me know in the comments. Just write yes and I'll share the link to the episode. It's on the Disruptors podcast on all channels and I'll share the direct link. So thanks for tuning in. I've done a little bit of content on what to do if your partner doesn't support you or you perceive that they don't support you. Don't just dump them immediately. But maybe some of you should have let them go five or 10 years ago. All will be revealed on the Disruptors episode. You just type yes in the comments. Thanks for tuning in. Also hit the share button because so many people out there are kind of suffering and struggling because there's conflict and they're not sure if their partner supports them and they think it's their partner's fault and part of it might be their fault. And you need to get a full balanced perspective on this to really forge forward in your mission. Because by the way, equally supportive and challenging friends and family members and partners can send you to the moon in your business ventures. But very negative and holding back and conflict in your family, friends and partner um, sphere. That can be one of the biggest things that keeps you shackled and chained to the dungeon of life. 
So just put yes in the comments and I'll share the full episode with you. Link coming to you now.